My name is Vik Karapetian and I'm growing up in, in Armenia. I was working uh, in, in this curved stone uh, eight and a half years, but the, uh, the stone was curved uh, from my master. His name is Hrash Karapetian. We did uh, six people we working on the stone 18 years. The idea was to carve some masterpiece for all the Christianity. The Kachkar is a handcrafted sculpture of the ages. Over 30 years in the making, this stone is one of the most interesting and intricate art pieces ever created. Hatched from the mind of Master Armenian sculptor, Harach Karpishian, this incredible work is an amazing wonder to behold. The story behind the stone began simply enough. In the city of Savan, Armenia, passionate, ambitious young artist, Harach Karpishian, was not initially envisioning the piece we have today. In the beginning, he began devising a stone carving to memorialize his late father. He would get lost in his many ideas as they became more and more elaborate. Soon, the piece he had envisioned became much more than he ever imagined. This was the most ambitious sculpture ever created. This idea was simple, create a carving from a block of red tooth stone, which represented the utmost pillars of Christianity, representing peace, strength, freedom, and infinity, all to be overseen by the mother of all Christians, the Virgin Mary. On each corner, an animal is displayed. The pigeon for peace, the tiger for strength, the eagle for freedom, and the ram for infinity. The cross would be the center point of the sculpture from which all living things are surrounded. At the center of the Kachkar, a round heart symbolizes the soul and the spirit of the sculpture. While the idea was ambitious, the actual execution was way beyond anything ever done before. To create a sculpture with a never-ending line that flows to and from the Virgin Mary. Topping this all off, the lines would run continuous within a 3D space of ridges and valleys, an enormous task for even the most accomplished artist. For nearly 18 years, they worked on the stone chipping away, sanding, and smoothing as the stone seemed to guide them in. They weren't working for themselves, they were working for the stone and its vision for the world. My name is Roy W. Butler. I am a professional sculptor, and my background is in the architectural industry also. My background is about 40 years of sculpting and figure sculpting, architectural sculpt. And for this project, I'm gonna be doing a smaller scale reproduction this will be a handmade reproduction piece. The scaled down version is entirely handmade by me and uh, then a master mold would be made and then fabrication for multiple copies. There's no way you can really experience it until you do see the piece in person. And we're going to try to capture as much of that as we can in the reproduction. I mean, when I walked in here yesterday afternoon, it's like, I've seen a lot of stuff in my life. And I've met thousands and thousands of people. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Our campaign is a way to give this sculpture back to the masses. With your help, we will be able to reproduce a seven to eight pound replica of the original stone made of a urethane resin, a way for anyone to own and marvel at the stone's beauty. The necessary funds will be used to commission well-known artist and sculptor Roy W. Butler to exactly create this one-of-a-kind art piece by hand, allowing this intricate masterpiece to be reproduced. By helping us reach our target goal, you will be the first and only to receive a signed copy by the original artist himself. This isn't about one man or his fellow artist. This is about Kachkar Cross Stone that needs to be seen by all people. We want to make this happen, and with your help, we can. <laughs>